art keeps people hopeful. When art stakes itself in a city. We like to paint together a lot, we like to collab. It can have the power to heal it. Keeps people inspired and I think it also gets people to create on their own and it puts things into perspective for people. It communicates when we don't have the words, you know. And art tends to reflect the age it comes from. I feel like it's so important, especially during like times like this. Well, I don't think anybody was really prepared when COVID hit. I was a little scared, honestly. I lost a few jobs. You know, I think it is a weird time. It's just in general, nobody's quite sure what, you know, we talk about getting back to normal and not sure what the new normal actually will be. And in the middle of dark times, one artist is a stroke of light. My name is Patrick K. McGregor. I'm an artist here in Denver, Colorado. I lost a job, a nice $8,000 job, ready to go, and it, it just kind of went away. They basically closed shop, you know, right when I was about to start. As businesses closed, Patrick, among other artists, turned to comforting their neighborhood. The windows started getting boarded up, and we started painting the window, you know coverings and that kind of became a little movement of itself. Uh, here's some new some new uh, murals that went up over the COVID thing. Um, some like safety awareness murals basically. And this first one's Winston. He was the first dog tested positive for COVID. I think it's so cool that Denver does have such a strong art community because um, we're able to do that to support one another. And it was when Patrick was painting boarded up windows when he realized he could do so much more. I was painting this and they were giving food out to the people in the industry. They're giving meals out. And they, I think they moved to a bigger facility because it got so big, but they were giving it right here. And I was like, I was, how, how, how can I give back in my own way? And that was like the first idea. Cause she, she's like, you got this painting here, you want to varnish it? And, and I was like, oh, we should do prints of this. And so it kind of just snowballed from there. That was the first idea I had with, is to make prints of the portrait I did of her dog and, you know, give all the proceeds to their workers. I think it's amazing because so many people have been impacted by this and I know there's so many restaurants out there who have had to close down and who probably won't make it through this and so any little bit helps and I think it's really cool that he's able to contribute in a way you know, he's found himself at such a successful point in his career that he's able to give back that way. So it's really awesome. So I'm signing these prints for uh, Atomic Cowboy, which is another restaurant that, I'm, that I've done work with in the past, which is this mural right here of Einstein. And selling them to help out the restaurant, basically. So these are the first six that we've sold. Oh my gosh, I don't know that words can describe how difficult this time is, and for each person it's different, but Patrick is an amazing human to start with, but um, he is an excellent painter and loves his community. As for these restaurants, it's a way for people who love those restaurants to not only support the restaurant, but bring that restaurant into their home while they can't visit it currently. But you can see the dog if you, if you put the camera over the top of the fence here. This restaurant, The Metal Ark, was able to sell $7,000 worth of prints. You're not making a dime off of that. No, um, in fact, just kind of a spur of the moment thing. I don't know if I thought it through really, <laughs> but it's making people happy. So that's all that really matters at this point. The power of artists can't be measured. I'm Thomas Hoppo reporting.